Hey, what's going on? My name is Michael. You guys are watching IDB. And in this video, I want to show you everything new in watchOS 10. watchOS 10 is hands down the biggest update that we've ever seen to the Apple Watch. It changes so many of the basic functional things that you do every day. And it also redesigns almost every single app across the entire watch. So let's go ahead and jump in right now. So first I want to start with the basic functional changes. The one thing you're going to notice right off the bat is control center is no longer accessed with a swipe up. Instead, you get to see your widgets and we'll get to that in a little bit. But to get to control center, you now have to hit the side button on your Apple watch. I think this is a much improved change because it's now way easier to access control center inside any application. So before in watchOS 9, you could access control center in applications by pressing and holding and then doing a swipe up. But that gesture wasn't really well known and it was a little bit awkward to activate control center. So now in watchOS 10, in any app, all you have to do is click on the side button and you can access control center from anywhere. And the second major functional change is what Apple calls the smart stack. So when you're on your watch face, you can either rotate the crown or you can simply swipe up with your finger in order to see the date and also the time right here, along with all of your widgets. And you can choose to edit these and place them however you like. If you scroll all the way down, you can see all of your applications. And then also, if you press and hold on any of these widgets, you have the option to add any widget that you want into your smart stack right here. You can choose from any app on your Apple Watch. And you can also choose to pin some as well. So you can see I have two widgets pinned in my smart stack. I have the weather widget, and I also have some applications. I love this applications widget in my smart stack because when I'm using a watch face that doesn't really have any complications on it, I can simply swipe up just like this and access any application I want really quickly. And then the final major change that you're gonna notice in terms of just using the watch every day is the home screen. So you're gonna notice that the home screen is now vertically scrolling. So Apple has completely eliminated the idea of having a full zoomed out grid view of applications. So if you turn the crown, you can notice that you're no longer able to zoom out and see the entire neighborhood of all of your applications. Instead, it simply scrolls vertically. And then if you get to the very bottom, you can click on list view. And then when you do this, it's actually going to change it by default. So when you go back to the home screen, it's gonna stay on this list view. And then if you wanna get back to your applications view, you can change it at the very bottom, just like this. So now I wanna show you some of my favorite redesigned applications in watchOS 10. As you use your watch every single day, you're gonna notice that every app you're in has been completely redesigned. The first one I really like is weather. So if I open it up here, you can see, and you're gonna notice this throughout the entire video, that we have a theme of full screen color on the watch face. And this just makes using your watch a lot more immersive. You can see that the background of weather on the watch is now actually representative of the current locations. So what's really cool is that if it's raining outside, for example, you're actually gonna see rain and thunder and lightning in the background of your watch. You're able to tap on the screen and see more information. And in fact, before in watchOS 9, you were only able to cycle through, I believe, three information pages. But here on watchOS 10, you have, I believe, eight more pages of information. So you can get a lot more data about your weather. You can also scroll down. So you can see here we have a bit of a more uh, information dense page. And just like before, you can tap on the screen and see more information. And then finally, if you scroll all the way down, you can see the temperature for the upcoming week. The next application I wanna show you is activity. Now you can see when you first open it, it looks pretty similar. However, Apple has actually added a bunch of buttons now in the corners. So for example, you can click on this and you can see your weekly summary. You can click on the bottom left to show your sharing progress with your friends. And then on the bottom left, you can see all of your trophies and awards that you've gotten. You're also gonna notice that we have that full screen effect if we scroll. So you can see here, it's gonna show the color of the move ring in the background. And this is probably one of my favorite redesigns in watchOS 10. It just looks so good whenever you're checking your move ring or your exercise ring, it looks really good in full screen color. If you get all the way to the bottom, you can see your steps for the day, the distance and your flights climbed. And then you're also gonna see any workouts that you've done today at the very bottom. So a really nice change inside of fitness. It looks a lot better when you scroll. And also it's a lot more usable now thanks to the buttons in the corners. 
and also world clock has been updated to also get the new full screen treatment. So as you can see, it looks a lot more like the weather application with the full screen blue background. What's really cool is it's going to adapt to the sun position. So if the sun is going down, it's gonna show a really nice orange color. And if it's nighttime, it's gonna be a really nice dark blue. I think before in watchOS 9, world clock was probably the ugliest app. So I'm really glad that we have a redesign for this application. And you're also able to click on this menu icon and change between all of your cities. So a really nice update for this application. Another application update I really like in watchOS 10 is stocks. So it also gets the full screen treatment, but we really get some neat animations inside stocks as well. So if I fire it up here, you can see that the graph is going to animate and this is really, really cool. All of the animations look so much better in watchOS 10. And as I said before with the weather app, it just makes the application feel a lot more lively. You're able to scroll between all of your stocks as you can see here, and that animation looks so good every time I see it. And you can also click on the button in the top corner to change between one day, one month, one year. And you can also click on the menu icon to see an overview of all of your stocks. And we also have an update for messages. So at the top of messages, you can see that all of your pinned conversations are now at the very top. And you can also compose a message in the top left corner as you've always been able to. Now, I don't wanna do it because I don't wanna show you my messages, but if you scroll, it's gonna show all of your messages but in a list form. But hands down, the biggest update in watchOS 10 for messages is finally the ability to see all of your pinned conversations with the profile photos. And the Maps application has also been updated and I really like what Apple has done here. So first up, you can see that the UI is a little bit different, especially when you click on this search icon, it looks a little bit more like the iPhone. And another really great feature that I can't show you because I don't wanna show you my current location is when you are looking at your current location on the map, there's going to be a little circle around your location that's gonna show the approximate walking distance within that circle. And as you turn the digital crown, that circle is going to show the time increase or decrease depending on how much you zoom in or zoom out the map. So I can't show you in this live demo, but I'll throw up a clip on the video right now to show you what this looks like. So there are just a few more applications I wanna show you. The next one is heart rate. So heart rate has a really nice new animation when you first launch the application. And as you've noticed throughout the entire video showing you all of these applications, Apple has really focused on vertical scrolling in this update. So pretty much every redesigned application is going to have pages that you can scroll through like this. So it makes it a lot easier to use the application. And I really like this new heart animation when you first launch the application. And then the final application I wanna show you is sleep. So once again, you can see that sleep now gets the full screen treatment. It looks really nice with this cool uh, blue gradient going from the bottom to top. And once again, obviously you're able to scroll between all of your pages and see way more data about your sleep for the past night. You can also choose to change your bedtime schedule. So if you click on this icon on the top left, you're able to change your next wake up. And overall sleep has been updated and it's just a lot easier to use now in watchOS 10. I should also mention that pretty much every single application has been updated. So not just the ones I showed you. I'll quickly show you one more. So the stopwatch has been updated. You can see that we can change the view now by scrolling and we get a really cool, nice full screen design here on the stopwatch. As you use watchOS 10 throughout your daily life, you're gonna notice every single application has been updated and it just looks so much better on the Apple Watch. And I really think Apple was trying to make a focus on switching the Apple Watch applications to feel way more like their iPhone counterpart. And I definitely think they succeeded in doing that. And of course, it wouldn't be an Apple Watch update without some new watch faces. So the first one is this one called Nike Globe. This one is pretty cool. This is my workout face. You can choose between a bunch of really nice colors. This one is my favorite just because it matches the corresponding Nike band that I have, but you're able to choose between a bunch of colors and they all look really nice on this new Nike watch face. This next face is called Solar Analog. You can see it has a really cool gradient look and it also is going to change the color based on where the second and minute hands are. This is a really visually appealing watch face and I think more people in watchOS 10 are going to use watch faces similar to this one, simply because you're now able to see more of your glanceable information in the smart stack. So I find myself using the photos watch face and more visually appealing watch faces like this, simply because I'm able to rotate my crown and see all the information I need right here. 
And the final new watch face, as you can see here, is Snoopy. Now, I can't see myself ever using this, but if you're a fan of Snoopy and Woodstock, you now have this option on the Apple Watch, and the animations do look pretty cool. Another awesome feature I love in watchOS 10 is when I'm doing a cycle. So if you're doing an indoor cycle or an outdoor cycle, you're now able to see the data from your cycle right on your iPhone. So if I grab my iPhone right here, if I go into my notifications, if I can pull down from the top, you can see that it's showing my cycle right here. I'll click on always allow. And if I click on this, you can see it's giving me a full screen view of all of my metrics. It's going to give you way more information if you're doing an outdoor cycle, such as distance and also speed, but I still love using this for my indoor cycles as well. And with watchOS 10, Apple really focused on cycling for the workout app. So if you are an outdoor cyclist, you can now pair your Bluetooth accessories with your Apple Watch for various metrics such as speed, power, and cadence. Now, I don't have any of these accessories, but I assume if you are heavily into cycling that this new support for accessories is going to be a game changer. And another nice update for watchOS 10 is for those of you who use the hiking workout, you're now able to get elevation alerts when you're doing a hiking workout, which is a really nice change. And speaking of hiking, there is a really great update inside of the Compass app. So you're now able to see various elevations inside the Compass app simply by clicking on this icon at the bottom right here. Another really cool thing that's built into the Apple Watch in conjunction with Emergency SOS is that your Apple Watch on this elevation compass is going to show you the last location that you had cellular connection. So if you no longer have a connection, you're able to backtrack and find the last place that you were connected to a cell tower. And I already mentioned the Maps application, but there is an update for people in the United States. If you are into hiking, you can now view a topographic map inside the Maps app on the Apple Watch. Right now, this is only supported in certain states in the US, but like I said, if you're heavily into hiking, now being able to view these topographic maps right on your Apple Watch is going to be a really nice change. And then finally, for watchOS 10 inside the mindfulness application, you're now able to log your state of mind. This was also added inside of iOS 17, and Apple is putting a bit more of a focus on mental health. So right on your Apple Watch, you're able to log how you've been feeling throughout the day or how you're feeling right now. So that is everything new in watchOS 10. Quickly, at the end of the video, I want to show you one more really cool feature, which is coming in a software update in watchOS 10.1. And this new feature is only for the Series 9 and the new Apple Watch Ultra 2. It is called Double Tap. You're able to do certain actions on your watch simply by double tapping your index finger and thumb together. So when you're on your watch face, it allows you to scroll through your smart stack just like this. You can see I'm able to view all of my widgets without even touching my watch face. This is a really awesome feature. It also works in a bunch of different applications. So in timers, if I start a seven second timer, I'll show you how I'm able to dismiss the timer once it goes off, as you can see here. So you can see in watchOS 10, we get the redesigned screen when your timer is done. But if I double pinch my fingers, I'm able to dismiss the timer without even touching my watch face. Another really awesome part of Double Tap is when you get an iMessage notification. When you see the message come in, if you double pinch your fingers, it's automatically gonna start dictation. So you can start speaking into your watch what you wanna reply. And then when you're done speaking, you can double pinch again just to send that message. This feels so futuristic. And again, it's one of those features that only Apple could pull off. And double tap is also really cool inside of the camera. So you know when you wanna set up your phone and take a group photo, but your other hand might not be available because you're posing for a photo and you might have your arm around someone? Well, now with the camera remote open, all you have to do is double pinch your fingers and it's automatically gonna take that photo. This is so freaking cool. I also love using double tap whenever I get a notification. So I no longer have to swipe down or click on dismiss notification. I can simply pinch my fingers together and dismiss that notification. It also works really well whenever I'm sleeping with my Apple Watch on. If I pinch my fingers together when my alarm goes off, it activates snooze, which is really great, especially in the morning when I'm tired and I don't wanna move my other arm. If it's under a pillow, for example, I can simply pinch my fingers together and activate snooze. So this is just such a cool and unique feature. As I said, one of those things only Apple can do, and it just makes the Apple Watch experience so much better. So that is everything new in watchOS 10. 
Right now, what I want you guys to do is, first off, if you enjoyed the video, simply hit the like button. It only takes you one second and it really helps out our channel. Also, head down to the comments and tell us what your favorite new feature is in watchOS 10. Also, let me know in the comments as well if you want to see a full dedicated video on Double Tap, where I showcase every way you can use it. With all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Michael with IDB, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.